In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create or edit a table map. We'll start with creating a new table map. To do this, I'll click Pause Settings on the left side of the screen. From here, I'll select Table Maps. To create a new table map, just click Add New Map. I'll enter Inside, as this will be the table map for the inside of the restaurant. Now that I've entered the table map name, I can begin creating the table map. To do this, I'll tap the Edit button here. The rectangle here shows us our current table map. As you can see, the table map is currently empty. To add a table to your table map, just click and drag one of these icons into the rectangle. We can move the table around the table map by clicking and holding on the circle here. To resize the table, just click and hold on a corner or edge of the table. To rotate the table, just click and hold on the circle icon here and then rotate the table with your mouse. If you want to create a duplicate of a table, just select the table and then right click on your mouse. Here you can see that we have an option to duplicate the table. When I click duplicate, it'll create another table of the exact same dimensions and orientation. You can also set a name for a table by entering in the table name here. As an example, I'll enter table one. You can also enter in the number of guests the table can seat here. Once you've entered the table name, just click Set as Table. Here you can see that the table name has been applied. You can also add plants, stairs and doors to your table map to help the staff visualize the layout of the venue. Once you've finished creating the table map, just click the blue Save button here. Now that the table map has been saved, I'll go back to the table map section. Now I'll just create one more table map as an example. You can see here that I've also created an outside table map. Now that I've entered the table map name, I'll click the edit button here to add a table. For this example, I'll add a circular table. For the table name, I'll enter table 2. Now that I've entered the table name, I'll set it as a table and then click save. Now that I've saved the table map, I'll go back to the table map section. To select the order your table maps will be displayed in, you can enter a number into the index column. A table map with an index number of 0 will be displayed by default. For the index number of my outside table, I'll set it to 1. Now that I've set the index numbers for my tables, I'll switch to the pause. First, I'll do a master sync to sync the table maps I created on the back end. Now that I've done a master sync, I'll tap the abacus logo to view my table maps. As you can see, by default, the inside table map is selected because I set the index number to 0. The outside table map has an index number of 1, which means it's displayed to the right of the inside table map. If I wanted the outside table map to be selected by default, I can set the index number for it to 0. Then I could change the inside table map index number to 1, and they will be switched around. Now that we're on the back end, there's a few more options we'll look at for table maps. The eye icon here will allow you to view a table map. Here you can see what your table map looks like. The second option, which we've used already, allows you to edit a table map. The third button here allows you to duplicate a table map. When you click the duplicate button, you can see here that it's created a copy of my inside table map. The last option here allows you to delete a table map. When you try to delete a table map, you'll be prompted for confirmation. Here I'll just click OK.